Hey, this is Mac from Bimmer Tech. If you've ever purchased one of our SmartView modules, you might recognize one of these guys. Now, I've been told by many of you that after the iOS 11 update, some of these stopped mirroring. So I'm going to show you how to update the firmware in all of these modules, and I'm going to start with the Apple TV based module. So I've got the SmartView HD module connected to an LCD screen over here. I think it's just a tiny bit bigger than the screen in your BMW, but I just want you to see what the hell we're doing here. You've got to make sure that the Apple TV is connected to the internet, but if you've already probably have it connected to the internet because you used it before, right? So once you have that out of the way, you just need to take the remote and go ahead with the update. You've got to go to Settings, General, software updates and then just click on update software. I don't have the time to sit here all day waiting for the update to complete so you just gotta take my word for it that it's gonna work and you'll be done with it. If you have one of our other SmartView modules like any of those units you'll need some firmware from us. I'll put a download link in the description. Once you download the firmware you'll need to load it to a USB stick. You'll have to make sure that the USB stick is formatted to FAT32 file format and I'll show you how to do that but you have to remember that formatting a USB stick will erase all the data from it so make sure to back it up if you have anything important there. If you're a Mac user you'll need to go to disk utility, select the flash drive, press erase, change the format to MS-DOS FAT and change this thing, whatever it is, to GUID Partition Map and press Erase. Great, job done. Now all you need to do is go to Downloads and copy the firmware file onto the USB stick. You'll need to make sure the name is install.img exactly like in the download link underneath this video. Now you can safely eject the USB drive. I've borrowed a PC to help you Windows guys out too. Turns out you can find your USB flash drive under devices and drives. Right click on it, press format, make sure to select file system FAT32, press start, ok, format complete, great, I'm going to close this and now all you need to do is drag and drop the install.img file onto your USB drive. Once that's done you can safely eject the USB drive. Once you have access to the module, all you need to do is plug in the USB drive and wait for the update to complete automatically. The whole process will take about 3 to 4 minutes, so I'm going to speed it up for you. Once you see this screen, you can safely remove the USB drive. The module will continue to boot up as it always does and after that all you need to do is reassemble your car. So that would sum up the firmware update process. If you have any questions or comments leave one down below and I'll see you soon.